I'm spraying. Yeah, okay, honey. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, oh, there he goes again. Oh, my God. I wish he'd get that fresh with me. Okay. Oh, got it. You ready? Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Good frame. Scene six, Victor, A mark. So, uh, tell us exactly what uh, the message said. Ah, uh, well, I, I mean, I can read it to you. It's, uh, it was from Mary Elizabeth's. Uh, <clears throat> it says, uh, Dear Scott, it's Mary Elizabeth's typing here. She still hasn't figured out. She doesn't need to. Uh, uh, good news, yep. The one I thought might be her is her. And guess what? She's still with your birth father. And it is 3.33 a.m. on January 3rd. Three is my magic number. Yours too. Laugh, O.L. That's not how you... Uh, I'm so happy. I hope I can sleep. Hootingly yours, Mary Elizabeths. Well, I guess she did sleep because uh, she called me rather early this morning and told me that she was going to contact them, and then she was going to phone me back, and that was yeah, about three hours ago. Maybe three isn't so magic after all. Aww. <laughs> Man and a woman had a little baby. Yes, they did. And they had three in the family. That's a magic number. <laughs> three, six, nine. A 12, 15, 18, 21, 15, 18, 24, 27, 30. Everybody down. Three, six, nine. A 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Nine. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Hi, Mary. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Okay, is that okay? Okay, ho hold on. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you fine, Mary. Look, I'm I'm here with Jennifer and the crew, so uh Oh, couldn't you tell how the gang's all here, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. Um so uh so what what's the news? Well, I did call. Uh let me just check my notes. Um Okay. Uh your birth mom picked up the phone. She had a very strong voice. Uh, one like, you know, you, when you call the IRS. I, I told her why I was calling, and she said to someone else in the room, you were right. And I told them a little about you, and that you were an actor, and that she might be seeing me every week on TV. She told me she does not watch TV. Um, we, we spoke very briefly, and she said that she was not sure she wanted to meet. Uh, she did not really show any emotion. Um, well, I can't say much more, but I, I, I'm not real sure this is going to happen, I'm afraid. Uh, um, yeah, um, yeah, okay. I, I mean, I, I understand. Um, look, uh, do you think you could, um, you could maybe at least go back and try to get medical history or, or something like that? Yeah, it's got to be quite a shock for them. Oh, yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> well, so uh, I'll give them a week or two and then try again. She has my number now as well, so if anything changes, I'll, I'll text message or telephone, okay? Okay, yeah, that, that sounds great, Mary. Thanks, thanks so much for, uh, for everything. Oh, it's my joy, and don't you give up hope. 
But keep your expectations low, too, okay? I'm heading to the Owl of Palooza with Nanny tomorrow, but I'll have my mobile phone with me, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, you have fun, Mary. Bye, thank Oh, she hung up. So, what's going through your head right now? Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed, of course, but, uh, you know, I mean, I've been keeping my expectations pretty low all along, you know, I mean, I mean, I can't imagine a harder decision for a woman to make than to have to give her child up, and I'm sure having those old wounds, you know, suddenly ripped open 40-something years later, that's got to be, that's got to be really, um, really difficult. So, you know, I, I get it, but, uh... I mean, hey, come on, who doesn't watch TV? What are you doing? What do you mean, what I'm doing? This is very, very cool shot, very artistic. This is like voyeuristic view of seeing through glass here is fantastic. No, it's what? not. Scott says that this makes no sense. Why don't you like? I've worked hard on this. Sultan, will you seriously, will you just bring the camera inside? Ah. Oh, oh, just... Whatever you want, Scott? okay? Yeah. Okay, so it's my mom's, you know, my mom who raised me, it's uh, her birthday today, coincidentally, so I'm just going to video chat with her. And, okay, now you gotta check out when she picks up. Uh, it's gonna look a little bit like, uh, you know, Kilroy was here, you know, kind of like that kind of thing, because she refuses to tilt her screen down, so all you're gonna see okay. is the top of her head, and just prepare yourself. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> Hello! There it is. How you doing? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. Happy birthday! Thank you very much, and thank you for the lovely nighty. It is. It was beautiful. a nightgown. It's not a. It's, it's not a nighty. Beautiful on me. Wh who, who are you talking to? Uh, well, I told you, Mom. The you know they're making the film about my. Uh, um... Oh, oh, that's them. Yeah. Uh, are they filming this? Yeah. You should have told me. I would have worn the nighty. Yeah. No one, <laughs> no one needs to see them, Mom. The top of your head looks great, Mom. Oh, Natasha! Oh, Mother, for Christ's sake! No one can see through your tail. <sighs> Okay. She really does think she's a person. Yeah. She follows me around from room to room. Yeah. She really listens she, to me. Yeah, yeah, she's she's pretty special, all right. So, what's going on with this movie? Uh, well, uh, the intermediary uh, actually found my uh, birth parents, and uh, and guess what? They're actually they're still together. Really? Yeah, crazy, right? But. Um, so the thing is, she called them and they said they didn't want to have contact with me. Oh, so terrible. Yeah. Who wouldn't want contact with you? That's just horseshit. Well, it's their loss. Well. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So who is working on this film? There, I I can't really see. Oh, okay. It. Well, um, we got Zoltan here behind the camera. Hello, Mama. And, How uh, you doing? And we got. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Zoltan, yeah, and then we got Chaim is working sound back there. Hello, Mrs. Scotch. Okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, then we have Jennifer is uh, our director. Hi. Here. So, an all-Jewish film crew. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think Jennifer's Jewish. Oh, yeah, I, technically, I am. What? Hi, Mrs. Fishman. How are you? <laughs> I'm Jennifer. I'm the director. Oh, I am so sorry. I could only see the dark hair from <laughs> <laughs> it's, No, it's fine. Okay. Actually, I was born in Korea, but um, I was adopted by a, a Chinese man and his Jewish wife. And I believe Jewishness comes from the mother's side, so... Mm, you've got a little Jewish in you. No, but, but I'd, I'd like to. <laughs> call Bye, that Mrs. Limb. Fishman. <laughs> One of us. Yes. Yeah, hey, a Jewess who can cook Chinese food. Mom, that's like a Mobius strip of happiness. Every day would be like Jewish Christmas, huh? Oh, oh, <laughs> speaking of Christmas, I got your invite in the mail. <laughs> well, it's, it's not Christmas, Mom. It's, it's Pearl Harbor Day, but um, it's also, it's the day Lisa's mom died, and she wanted to remember something happy on the day, so that's why we picked that day, so. Yeah. Well, I couldn't be prouder. You should watch the Ellen show this week. Yeah. I think she's doing a whole thing on weddings. Yeah. No, she's great. It really feels like she's talking right 
to you. Yeah. You know? And then the dancing. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, she's pretty special, all right. I know you, you like that dancing. What's that? Please, this stick is heavy. Stop talking about the Ellen Show. <laughs> Uh, Stop talking, no, Ellen. Okay. Show it's, it's okay. okay. Stick of sound heavy. Just, All right, we're about to lose. He, he's been through the Israeli Defense Force, but he can't hold up a stick for five minutes, Mom. So we got to uh, we got to go here. I'm sorry. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Bye. Bushman. Bye. Bye. Hate all the wires all the time. Yeah, you gotta. Well, it's the worst. Then once you get electrocuted. No, it's not connected. Okay. Yes, it's a rough day. Yeah. It's, For you, it's, a, it's well, hard. Well, it's all a lot of stuff. It's a lot of things happening in your life right now. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to sometimes just get a little, you know, a moment to breathe and Pardon? peace. You know, just a mo. Hmm. Would you say? I'm, I said I'm sorry, it's good. My, to my hearing is. Not great, you know. It's bad. What do you mean your hearing's not great? Uh, when I was in the Israeli defense, uh, a very young boy, I had a how young explosion. Seventeen, I was okay. going explosion it hurt my ears because see, I had a very uh, this job. Do you know, in the, uh, the soldiers get the letters. Yes. The some people call it mail. Yes. I get the yeah. lead, the lead from the parents of the boys. Yes. I deliver to them. Yes. This mail. You were the mailman. Postman. That was. Mailman. That's what you did in the Israeli Defense Force. You were a mailman. A very dangerous job. Yeah. Yes, mailman, and there was explosion because it's a mother mailed the package with the soup in the jar. Right. Ex Exploded. Exploding soup. I lost my hearing in this ear. So you 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 are one ear down. Yes, this ear not so good either. And your how? Why did you choose this career? I retrained myself to hear. Yes, I go into I go into the woods, and I say I need to find a way to hear over the. Uh, what do you call the ringing? Yeah. So I listen to the birds, the whippoorwill, the snowbird. Um, they have snowbirds in Israel. But. This no, this is in America. Okay, I America come now. here. Okay. I retrain my ears to hear. Yeah. The widow bird. Yeah, Jennifer's ready for you. Okay. Um, wow. Well, so you never S thought of maybe going to the visual arts rather than the. So, I'm sorry. Uh, what? I need to read the lips. What? The visual. So I listen to the people. I hear your mother. I hear everything in the. I hear her emotions. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I have no memory of when my parents actually told me I was adopted, but I remember being four years old and sitting on some swings in the park with my neighbor Paul. And I must have just found out and told him because he turned to me and he said, Are you like a bastard? And those are your sad parents. And I said, no, they're my parent parents. They're the only parents I've ever known. <laughs> That's funny pee pee. And that was that. It was never a big deal to me, you know? I mean, until I could use it as a, a weapon in my nasty teenagers, of course. You don't understand because you're not my real mom. You let him get away with it, because he's your real son! You don't care, because I didn't crawl my way out of your womb. I never meant any of it, and it never meant anything to me. My mom was my mom, my dad was my dad, until he wasn't. And, you know, so it's fine if these people don't want baby boy Finn back in their life. Look, I've already got great parents and a whole new family I'm about to... Finn, first up. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. They want to meet me.